My name is Denise Hoffman. I'm a composer. I'm half Swiss, half Chinese from Hong Kong. I grew up uh, in Seoul and Bangkok, in Istanbul and Hong Kong as well. Moved to the States when I was about 18. I like to think of my music as good, good, good. Uh, somewhat having a tonal center, so having gray areas that, that the audience can catch on to and can relate to. Um, it is highly inspired by text, even if the actual music isn't uh, setting text. So I was brushing my teeth one morning in a hotel bathroom and the water draining down made this really interesting pitch. And I was thinking, why not set t the text of everyone's thoughts in the bathroom in the morning? Yeah, this piece is a uh, soprano, alto, tenor, bass piece with large ensemble. It consists of text that, uh, that is crowdsourced, written by friends and friends of friends, and it's a collection of ultra-serious and ultra-silly stream of conscious thoughts in addition to um, serious questions uh, that bring up themes like, like depression, body image, and faith, and, and just struggles with waking up, basically. There's something about being in this sort of dreamlike state. You wake up, you're, you're conscious, but you're not quite um, present and it's not quite real. So the beginning I was actually really, really inspired by the bass drum. That rumble to me is sort of the rumble of the morning, of the stirring when you're waking up. Another reference is the marimba ring, basically an ad adaptation of the iPhone marimba ring. It's essentially the singers talking to the percussionists, and so they're looking at the percussionists in the mirror and essentially talking to them. Catch waffles, waffles. What did you say? Catch toast waffles. With lots of wit, cream. There's something about uh, chords that, that, that warp and change and become something else and change their roles and then come back to it in a different state. There's something about these, this change of harmonies that, that keeps me interested. This person is yearning for rest. That's essentially what the piece is about. Ideally, they would be staring at each other and the audience would be watching this interaction. And this interaction is something that I would like to further develop in my next um, runs of this piece. wanted to be honest. I think that is that is one of my goals with this piece. Oh, okay.